to continue Rhyme of the Frost Maiden this time. Sorry about being a little bit off schedule after announcing our new campaign. I had a little bit of a family thing happen, so I had to step away. Thankfully, we have our good buddy Derek up in the corner, which apparently, just reminding everyone, this is a uh, 17 up <laughs> stream because we do have a shirtless man on here. Everyone just being I was like, okay, they're being quiet for once. This is no, weird. I mean, the... they're all never quiet. Never... All right. Never. So before we get started, I want to start this off because it is one of the Quester's birthdays today. So big, yeah. happy birthday, yeah. brother. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I actually went to Costco hey. and got Costco cake to celebrate your birthday. Your birthday is actually why I'm shirtless. <laughs> my gift. Happy birthday! Your wife got That's you your the bad type of stripper. Derek is popping out of the birthday. <laughs> Hello. The sad thing is, I can actually see your wife doing something like that. Might. Hiring me to strip for Kevin? She totally would. <laughs> yeah, she would. All right. Okay. So, this is going to be a little strange because, Zach, you haven't been able to play with us for a little bit, have you? Nah. Nah, he just got done moving <clears throat> down to a place that's hot as shit. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Sweet. Get down there a little bit. Yeah, he, he, he's right there next to Cuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, 30 second walk away, like, right next to me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, we could actually see what Cove looks like on camera if he could just right. walk over to Sex. Yep. Exactly. You guys should have a land party. We should, we should, we should, we should, we after. We should never after. invite camera. He's just going to walk over there and look at the camera for like a second and then just walk back. <laughs> right. That's, That's just how it's going to go. Let, let me know if you do that. I need to unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I have no plans at the at the time. He's like, no, I will not be doing that. Good. <laughs> Should not be happening. All right. Uh, we'll hop right into this. I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that we actually are one subscriber up. So thank you to yeah, yeah. Zach. Nick. I did it again. Jesus Christ. Did it. Nick. You know, I've known this kid for more than half my life, and I still can't get his damn name right. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, with that, you know, we have our extra slot filled for Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Derek, your Horde of the Dragon Queen's getting filled up too. Yes. So if we get a couple more, we'll actually have a subscriber one off where we will actually have a scheduled session just for our, a couple of our subscribers to play with us. Mm -hmm. That'll be awesome. It's not dirty at all. I mean, I mean, he is shirtless. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just give me a few more beers, beers and I might be too. Oh, God. And how, and how, how do we know? Yeah. Cov isn't shirtless too. We don't, we don't ever know. It's, it's camera. Very okay. He's probably <laughs> naked. We just have been playing with That's him it. naked this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. You have no idea. I'm shower. My apartment. <laughs> I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> Brian, I don't know why. It sounds like you're really light today, bro. Light, like hard to it hear. Sounds like you're really far away. Probably, it's probably lit. Hmm. I don't I mean, know. I, I can know turn up your. Different. I'll turn up your volume on my side, but that way it helps the stream out a little bit. But well, Alicia came in. And she must have heard the comment that I said about taking my shirt off for a few more beers, and she goes, "No, no more beers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Mr. Kevin. No, no more Mr. beers. Mr. Kevin. No, no more beers." <laughs> All right, so, gosh, three weeks ago now, we are coming back from, you guys were attempting to make a long rest. Yes. Uh, I believe attempting a... is such a... Oh, the wolves. Oh, you like my recap? What were we over this part? Uh, well, Fallon and Aramel decided to try getting it on in one of the tents. Correct. We did for like a whole hour before yeah. I fucked it up. Yeah. 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 Bit him. 
Here, let me let me just recap the whole episode. Oh yeah, the... no, <laughs> we don't need it. Nope, okay. <laughs> don't remember much. Yeah, I want to hear it. And then wolves. That's yeah. the episode. Yeah, that's a that's essentially it. Yeah, don't remember what happened. Sex, penis bite, wolves, done. Okay. Yep. The sad that's thing right. is, I feel like he said that story to me a couple of years ago. Right. Maybe. Don't remember. Waking Which up at 2 o'clock in the morning to be like, Adam, guess what? Yeah, that sounds right. It's yeah. probably like 8 years ago or 9 years ago now, but either way. I don't know. It all depends. That's a nice point. <laughs> Alright, so you guys have just awoken to a pack of wolves surrounding you. Uh, oh. Zach, you were still in town, but uh, I got you. Just hold off, brother. Wait. There's two of me. I see two of me. Which one's the Is there two of you? Yeah. Were you here Stop the last time we played? Oh, there yeah. is. Yeah, I think you played the last time we were also, here. Also... Oh, yeah, he was. Also, Derek, you're not in this... You're not in 20, are you? No, he... He is. I hit launch He's game, but apparently I'm up in the or something. There we go. Okay. I was like, I don't see your name. <coughs> Sorry. No, he is in a tent. That's so cool. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, since that, I wasn't able to take a long rest, I was like, uh, yeah. With that, Oramic, Zylena, and Cove, you all notice the wolves. Okay. So um, an attack of opportunity. Good old wolfy boys. I mean, they see you. I'm not. They, they're not acting like they're trying to come at you directly right now. I mean, except for I... they're fully surrounding us. Wait, is everybody awake or is everybody like, or is anybody in the tent? Sorry. Aramil no, was in the no, tent, so I'm shoving his ass back in the tent. <laughs> so can and I use Aramil my... came around oh, oh. to everyone's tent yes. and woke us up. Oh yeah, that's up. right. Yep, yep, that was right. I was just trying to make sure that everyone was awake, I forgot. So I'd like yeah. to try and scare the wolves by by using a cantrip called uh, create bonfire right in front of this wolf right here. Okay. Can you throw that into the chat so I can see it? Yeah. I think it literally just creates a bonfire. Yeah. yeah it does. Well, it's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's fire. I mean, I'm hey, trying to tear if a bonfire like is running out of the ground and just burst into flames in front of you, you might run too. It's funny because we actually thought the same thing because I thought about like turning and attempting to like growl at them since I have oh, intimidation. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, that's not growl it. At them. I was like, create bonfire. You have to make a dex 16 saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you create a bonfire in the ground you can see within range until the spell ends a magic bonfire fills a 5 foot cube any creature in the bonfire space when you cast the light must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 fire damage oh shit that's more than creating a bonfire I didn't expect there to be an actual damage thing associated yeah. with this yeah neither did I I honestly thought it was yes. just like hey you're not going to freeze at night yeah right that's just thinking it can but. be both. <laughs> it can be both. It can hurt people. He just, and he just can't be within one. five feet of it when he lights it. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's yeah. like he's dumping gasoline on it. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be around it. You know? All right. Yeah. So, Brian, you said you put it right here? Yeah. Okay. So, the fire sparks into it, and the wolf will jump back ten, but it is now growling. Ooh, Ooh can, I, can I cast the uh, speak with animals? If you want to, yeah, I want to cast speak with animals. Impressive, and then speak with it. You know, and so right. just, real smart. Yeah. <laughs> Good day. Uh, actually, I don't even know what I want to tell him. Good day, mate. <laughs> can you guys go away? I'm gonna yell that to him. Go away. Would you kindly fuck can, off? Hey, what do you can want? you guys go? Away? All right. So as Triple A yells that. All he hears back from this food. Food. What was that? All you hear is food. Me too. Oh man, I don't want to be food. Everyone, roll for investigation. Why is my D and D on suddenly not on my character? It was on my character. I rolled a 23. I know why. Oh, I see it. I bring yours up. 
I know. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I know. Right. You're, you're pretty good. We all see it. So I am just waiting on Derek's. Yep. One sec. Uh, if for some reason, um, so I have my character open, and then when I went Short to story. Uh, okay, your account decided to reassert itself on my computer. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, you no could just roll it. You could just roll a d20 and add his modifier. He could I also just still go Come into on. his Dang. account. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, I did. I logged into my account so I could do it. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, you can still roll from here. Like, I could roll as you, technically. Right. Oh, yeah. I know. All right. That's not how we're doing. Do, do I notice which one is, like, the head wolf or the elf? Yeah, you can roll for animal handling. Okay. Handling? Pass. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. So the winter wolf that Cove cast bonfire of looks a bit bigger than the rest. This one right here. Yeah. All right. That, that, can I shout to him, like trying to make a deal with him, like if uh, if you come with us and we'll let you kill any enemies or eat any enemies we kill. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of applaud this because it's not just being a murder hobo for once. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's just like the one time we want to be a teammate. They're like, hey man, like I know you're an enemy, but like okay. you know, I do have to go around. over what everyone's investigation is before we move yeah. forward. So you gotta hold on one second, Zach. Okay. All so right. simple. Uh, it was bad. Yes. So everybody but Ormic and Fallon, what you notice is a bunch of angry looking wolves with blood on their mouths. Brian, you literally are seeing somebody, what looks like somebody's arm is hanging out of this winter wolf's mouth. Oh, God. I could see that even with a gnat one. There's a reason for that. But yeah. You technically oh, okay. also got a plus eight. But... Yeah, you yeah, still technically rolled higher than Derek. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, the gnat one is like critical fail, so it should be lower. Yes, it should be lower, and thus it sort of is. So, and I'm going to message Oromic and Fallon on Discord what they oh, see, because I know that sometimes everyone else listens to the non aspect. What? Yep. Is it on general? Wait, where should no, I go? Private message. Don't worry. It'll be, it'll be directed. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Because I never, it never like pops up. It never like tells me anything. So I never realize when people send messages when we're on the stream. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm going to send everybody dirty messages throughout the stream. Please don't. Oh, God. I won't see them until later. <laughs> All right. So you both yeah. were sent the message with what you can see. So, AAA, based on seeing the snarling wolf's aunt, do you still want to try to make a deal with the alpha? Uh, yes. Okay. I say, I, I'm going to turn and ask if anybody has any food. Yeah, um, yeah that's the way to do that. Guys, I'm actually eating. Yeah. <laughs> I have one day of rations. I don't have any. I don't have any excess food. I we, have ate that, we ate that Yeti meat like six episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> more than that. But, yeah, um, I don't have anything at all. I have one day of rations. Okay, I don't want to yeah, waste rations necessarily. Stop it. No, not stopping it, Derek. <laughs> Um, oh no! I'm gonna yeah indicate to everyone that I think yeah yeah they're just clearly looking for food and if they might choose us if it's a, you know. Hold yeah. on. You know, Kevin, I am going to challenge you as part of your birthday. Okay. You have to talk like Oramic whenever you're trying to get a point across now. Yes. Okay. I want to hear grunts. But sophisticated yeah, no. because your picture <laughs> is a well dressed half orc. That's right. <laughs> no, uh so 
They are just looking for food. <laughs> yeah, they look pretty skinny. Hmm. Well, I don't have any food, so I'm down to kill him. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Trusting Kyle to be the murderer. I don't have any food either. I, I, that I don't might have be our only option. <clears throat> I can have some nice wolf meat. And Arabelle's thinking Don't he'll have a good coat. Anyways. Yeah, um, I, think, I think it's time to go. Yeah. So, before anything goes down, I'm, I would like to cast Minor Illusion. Uh, let me check the range. Okay, so 30 feet. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to cast Minor Illusion up here. Come on, do the ping. You're really going to fight me? Do the ping. And uh, I'm going to make it look like there's a nice, tasty-looking boar up there, or a pig up there. So as you conjure this pig up on this... Yeah. You of the wolves start to notice it. Yes. And charge at it. Yes. In their hunger. Perfect. Now, um, but as I am... they touch it, the illusion falls apart. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm kind of hoping that, uh, and I might even try to influence it, but I want these wolves to accidentally start eating each other. That was the hope. Uh, no, because it didn't make each of the wolves look like a pig. No, no, no. But as they are trying to eat the thing, because I'm sure they're ravenous at this point. Well, this dire wolf Only tried to jump, each other. This dire wolf tried jumping the boar and fell right through it. Uh, knowing something's up. Ruin my fun. <laughs> Figured if one died, we'd be in the clear. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. But well, at this that, point, we just, the wolves yeah. know that you are acting against them. Yeah. So, okay. everyone, roll for initiative. Oh, it. Well, I tried. Uh oh. Not bad. 18. Dude, I am doing crap today. Eight. Bob. I didn't see your roll. Wait. What? Your roll didn't carry over. Ah, damn it. Alright, try again. There it is. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work. So, Cov, you got your wish, buddy. You get to murder. I, waited too long. I was I was gonna attack and then and then all of a sudden we're in initiative. And you're surrounded. Yeah, you see how I, I navigated right to the middle of all this instead of <laughs> Wizard <Yeah>. smart. <laughs> Get yeah, away right. from the edges. Yeah, and my character does have hot. twenty intelligence. So that is true. He's fairly smart. I mean, right. isn't that as smart as you can be? I think you can actually be smarter than twenty. With feats. Mm, okay. But with that, it is the direwiff's turn. Hold on one second. Speed of 50. Holy. Oh, dang. All right. It's a close match to me with 40. <laughs> oh, but he came Ooh, right up that's on close. You, rushing straight at you and that is out oh, trying to bite down. <laughs> With a 22. Oh boy. <laughs> you must succeed a strength saving. Adam, through. why are you always trying to killing Ooh. us? Well, I'm giving him one that he can actually pass. You do pass What's this, up? you're not knocked prone, but you will take six piercing damage. Okay. But with that, it is. And we now haven't had a full yeah. rest, right? Correct. But with that, Ormek, your turn, buddy. Uh, all right. So yeah, being 
pissed. We're just going to go ahead and enter that rage now. All right. I just got to click on it so that way it actually activates it. And roll Come your on. d6. That's what I'm working on. Boop, boop, d6. Oh, it's a d8. It's a d8? I thought it was a d6. My bad. You're good. Uh, so I got a two. Oh, come on. I had the tab already open, but now that I clicked on it, it has to reload it. Come on, load. Two. I can teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space I can see, and until my rage ends, I can use this effect again on each of my turns as a bonus action. That is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. So, um, we're going to go ahead. Oh, I got to make sure the extension has my rage enabled. <clears throat> Where's it at? Come on. There it is, Barbarian Rage. And we're going to go ahead and swing with that Great X, like I always do. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Damn. So you stayed in place <laughs> and you attacked? Uh, yeah, I attacked there, yes. I spun around to, like, hit him. Okay. Your Great X is going to hit, dealing 19 damage. Yes. To the dire wolf and assuming that the dire wolf is still standing i'm going to use my well no you know i'm going to stand my ground here this turn i'm not going to teleport all right your turn done yes. not dead yet no wait no i said yes but if you want to play it you can go ahead and say yes because technically i get one more attack but that's up to you whether you take it you you kind of stopped so Oh, you're good. I definitely want to swing for it. I just remembered it. That's why I was like, wait, I get two attacks with one thing. Does that one connect? It does. But just barely. Ooh, all right. 14 more. And then, yes, now I'm standing on my ground. End of turn. <laughs> okay. So with that, the Alpha Winter Wolf is going to come over here. Get right up oh on Zelina. Too close. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Too close? Too close. COVID. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> All right. And he is going to breathe out a breath of cold air. So, 15 feet. So, let me break out my little measuring tape here. And it's a cone, so it can go here. Hmm. So, one, two, three. Xylena, Aramel, and Cov all have to make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Oh. Aramel, you are the only one... So you will take half as much damage as about what I'm about to roll. Okay. All right. So it's a 48. Jesus. What? 48 damage. <clears throat> damage. 4d8. So, Cov, Zalina, oh, oh, you both oh, are taking <laughs> 20 damage. Aramon, oh, you are taking 10. And we're down. Yeah. Oh my god. Start the death saving throw, boys. All right. We're starting oh. this off early tonight. Yeah, right? Cub, right. you still up? Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. For a wizard, he's not squishy. I'm 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 tattered as fuck, but <laughs> I look he's like, like I'm about I to am pass only the... here by a thread. <laughs> Remember, you mean, he, he, he was, right? He wasn't squishy. He is now. <laughs> yeah, gra Grandpa's squishy yeah. now. He's now made an angry tiefling. I guess. <laughs> All right. With that, uh, my dear Fallon. Uh, so I'm gonna use. Oh God, where's my mouse? Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Magic Missile at third level on Damn. the alpha. That's five shots. And at third level, I get five. Yep. Okay. Magic Missile damage. Oh, yes. 
revenge me. Oh, it. She is maxing so that bitch out. She's doing twenty five damage. Five. <clears throat> now, everyone who went to Lakeland, what Max. is that? <laughs> Dude, I couldn't. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But the wolf. A lot. No, I mean, I can do it. You would just have to, like, let me use my finger. And shakes it off. What, it's a Taylor Swift song? 25 what? damage didn't hit it that much? Nope. Jesus. Overpowered. I mean, it still t- did, it, did it still take the full 25 damage? It still though? took the full 25 damage, yes. Okay. I'm just making sure. Yes. No. Oh boy. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna just kind of move back into this pocket here. <laughs> no, no, that's a, that's a lot less than visibility. I'm just gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. Cove? Alright, I'm gonna cast Mouse Minute Meteors. Alright. And then I almost going- did that. I'm gonna launch two meteors right. Sorry, I got the measuring two on. I do that right all the time. here in the middle of these two, and okay. because they're five feet away from each other, I get to hit both of them at the same time. Okay. Uh, for Mouse Minute Meteor, what is the? Isn't there a DC? Like yeah. Okay. What's the yeah. DC? Sixteen. For dexterity. Yeah. No. For. Let's see. Well, the winter wolf is going to get hit without even trying. Wow. So is the dire wolf. Holy shit. All right. Uh, well, I only do three damage each. But I get to launch two of them, so I'm going to launch a second one. So they need to do it again. That's perfectly. Oh, okay. I got it. Well, I just closed them. Come on, Brian. Do it again. Do it again. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, but with that, the dire wolf dodges the second blast, <laughs> while the winter wolf is hit clearly in the fucking chest after recoiling from the first hit. Up the ass. <laughs> yeah. That All would, right. That would be a very sad meteor. <laughs> I'm gonna move right here. All right. Next up is this dire wolf, who, very pissed off that this boar was not real, comes prowling up close to here in the fire, sees Xylena on the ground. Oh, no. The alpha growls at it, telling him to leave his prey alone. Fair enough. So he goes over here and smells the elf, launching himself at him with a bite. Aramel's easily able to jump to the side. Yeah. Yeah, the other person was healing. Actually, yeah, that's true. I'm aware. (laughs) I'm aware. Um, Who just dropped? (gasps) We lost Triple Oh, Kevin. I was like, no, we know what Zach looks like now, so we can actually... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so used to the other one without a camera. <laughs> right? I know, well, when right? Kevin rejoins camera. Right now it's my icon. In Working the on it. I figured. There uh, we go. Apparently, my Discord ran its update, even though I told it not to. <laughs> ah. I didn't do it anyways. Fuck you. Really yeah, it just restarted us. I was just in the middle of talking, and I was just like, my whole like left side of the screen just goes like back to my back to my right desktop. It's like son of a, you know, like I thought like for sure something was crashing. It, it basically says, "Fuck you." <laughs> yeah, it does what it wants. Happy birthday, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. All right, dear little sister, your death saving throw, please. Yes, sir. You succeeded. Eight bit. Yes, Earl. Yes. But with that, the next winter wolf is going to come up. And he is. Even if I die, I have a backup character. How about we try not 
T. We're gonna try not die, but I have one prep. I'm ready. Okay. He is going to launch a bite at triple A. Triple A, your AC is what, like 19 or like 300? 19 <laughs> for now. <laughs> Just wait. Just you wait. Yeah, like, I haven't got to go yet. <laughs> I know. But I will tell you, this winter wolf is going to bite down into your armor and actually deal. Um, can you do a strength saving throw for me and then I will tell you how much you hate me? Um, strength saving. Yeah. No, is there a reason you're trying to kill us today, Adam? Can huh? we do something? Yeah, for real. Like, can we not? Can this not be Biggs' birthday present? Just have us all slaughtered? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's my birthday present. We could just start a new campaign. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, God. So TPK, happy birthday. Well, team, it's like a hand, DM hands player the player's handbook. What am I looking up? You're not looking for anything. You're building character. <laughs> You're building character. Basically. Wow. Um, triple A. Yes. You are now prone. Aww. So you are knocked on your ass, and you will have to take a turn to get up, and you are taking 24 piercing damage. Oh, yeah. fuck. <clears throat> and I will celebrate Kevin's birthday how I please. That's right. <laughs> Basically, 50/50. hopefully not with the slaughter of innocents. I mean, innocents were murder hobos. That is true. I would like to think of us as innocents. Like okay. literally, Cub said, "You know, I only have one day." No of matter how I think I'm cool murder, murder hobo we are. Yeah. I mean, that one day ration would have not made them go away. No, but you. No, but it might have been long enough to eat ourselves out of there. That actually was the, the one goal. way to get it. Yeah. Adam, it's us. We, we fought two people in the middle of a street I'm because they weren't getting along. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I did too. It was the day I was there. That was a whole episode. That was a whole some... episode. That was, yeah, it was totally just a side thing. We're like, nah, let's make a fight. <laughs> Let's make a whole fucking fuck episode out of this. Let's have him up. Oh, you fucked him up. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. All right. So with that, Aramil. All right. Well, I'm going to skirt around this little winter wolf, or uh, dire wolf. And after I have checked the distance... Now, let me verify something, though. Good. We're safe. I'm going to fire a second level underwave. Okay, so second level. So constitution 14. And which ones are hit? Uh, this one? Oh, hang on. Sorry. These two? Uh, this one, yeah. this one, and this one. Okay. You do know Zylena is still in the splash. Right. Yes, but she's already dead. Correct, but if she gets hit while she's dead, Right, she but you can yeet her save. out of existence. <laughs> Call it payback. And she <laughs> automatically <laughs> fails all saves right now. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Yeah. That just, mean, that just literally means that she gets one uh, failure on her stuff. And don't worry, I have a plan. But yeah, I need to hit as much damage as I can at this moment. All right, so constitution. Yep, three constitution saves. I have two fails and a save. All right, so the failures take 18 damage The and move back 10 feet each and are prone. Yes, in the fire, like I hoped. <laughs> no, it's next to the fire. Damn. Someone else thunderwaved into the fire. Alright. And the other one takes nine damage. And I did that while singing a very off-key, but still effective, uh, note. 
just a really high pitched, like soulful melody attempt that didn't go so well. But it still counts as inspiration. And Cove now has inspiration of five. Nice. Solid. Good job. All right. Remember, you can use that on uh, attack rolls. Or, hang on, let me double check this. I think you can also use it on damage rolls because I have combat inspiration. Correct. Yeah, you can use it uh, to up your AC, to up your attack, or to up your damage. Okay. You just have to say when you're going to use it before the damage, before the mentioned roll is done. Okay. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka? That's right. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. All right. Um, do I actually still have... Oh, I do. Nice. Makes me happy. That's bad for me. No, I mean, you guys are royally fucked, but, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I just we kind of went back through the initiative in the turn order and realized how many more enemies there are. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> but, on the plus side, can you guys, you guys see my dog? Sort of. All right, Blue, come here. Ah, oh, you're terrible. <laughs> Get a dog. So the dire, one dire wolf goes off into the woods. Okay. And triple A, it is your turn. Well, I am very damaged. I am just going to throw a moonbeam out right in between. You cannot. You are oh. prone. You have to take your turn. Oh, well, oh I care about that. I'm just going to stand up. Then. Stand and the then moonbeam. Moon okay, can I do that? Or is it just standing? No, standing up? is your action. It takes an action. You have to stand up. Bitch. Okay. And I'll. Uh, Biggs, do me a favor, go through, and every single person who's trying to get us to buy shit, yeah, yeah, block them. Is that what we've been getting a lot of lately? Um, We just got, like, four or five people. Yeah, what? If if they keep, uh, if they're they're watching? They're bots. Oh, they're bots, yeah. Can I stand up in the bonus section? Can you stand up what? And then do a bonus action? Yes. yes. Derek, uh, this is my campaign. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but yes. Uh, then I'm just going to stand up and you uh, bonus action shield of Wait, on myself. Okay. Shimmering Field appears around AAA, praying to himself, going, okay, Kyle. God of customer service, grant me my bonus two AC. <laughs> I mean, I'm all down. Okay. So that is perfectly fine. Are you all set with your turn? Yep. yep. So next, I, yeah. next up, That's this awesome. dire wolf is going to come around. He is going to bring it around town. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for, because he's going to bite fat. Uh, done. Are you trying to kill me? Hey, Squishy, what's your AC? My AC? Yeah. Ten. Okay, so that bite is going to hit you for nine piercing damage. No and you shit. Have to, you have to do a strength save. Oh. Or be knocked prone. Okay, hold on. I'm trying. You actually are going to pass the strength save. <laughs> With a minus one, too. Yeah, that was actually a really good roll. So what, I got nine damage? You take nine damage, correct? Oh fuck! I am <laughs> holding on by a thread, y'all. Holding on by a thread. 
Join the crew, man. Knock, knock, knocking on Kurt. heaven's door. <laughs> Legit, though. <laughs> All right. So next up is this winter wolf who is going to stand back noticing that the rest of his pack is already in. Wait, is it too late for me to use my hellish rebuke action? Reaction? I mean, to you that said person you were that just hit me. You said you were done. That wasn't I'll, even I'll let that it. wasn't even my That wasn't my turn. He hit me. Go ahead. Nineteen damage. Okay. Holy shit! Payback. Yeah, payback. Was I'm sweet just like, on that one. fuck you. I always forget that we have that. Yeah, all T fours <laughs> have polish rebuke, I, and I, no one uses it. I was like, yep. scrolled board, but I always and I was like, that. oh my god. Yeah, which literally means you you can attack twice on several turns, and none of you ever remember. Nope. <laughs> We're fucking done. What do you want from us? Uh, All right. Okay, Kevin still didn't remember that he had two attacks for a solid chunk of the campaign. Yeah, there was like two episodes I could have done that, and I did. Now I have it right. I said I'm sticking out. I just literally like played my turn, and I looked down. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so before we start a new rotation, I want you all to listen for a minute. Uh oh. Yes. Truly. So. Actually, roll for perception. I'm, I don't want to give too much away. Why do you roll for perception when I'm down? I mean... Not great. Fallon, what'd you get? Seven. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Alright. So, everybody but Cove and Fallon, you notice that the wolf that went to run off into the woods suddenly dropped dead. Wait. Ooh. I'm not mad about it. You didn't see it, though. The only person Ooh. that notices there is a shadow it. of a person behind him is AAA. A shadow of a person or, like, another animal? Humanoid. Okay. I mean, if I have to be specific, he's a uh, wood elf. Is this the same dude who was there with the staff? No. Oh. Okay. No? Interesting. And where was that at? Which one? Because I can't see like half the map. <laughs> oh, right. oh, all the way over there. Okay, okay I see. I can't see half the yep. map. But, like, I'm For everyone off. on the stream, it's over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Adam, center on it. <laughs> well, the thing is, I am trying to get everybody in there, and I will be centering for people's turns now. Yeah, that's if everyone's a little bit over. But first, Action camera. I have to roll him into initiative. Rock. Good oh. All right. What is what is the name of this new stranger? It's for one, <laughs> you guys haven't talked to him yet, so technically you don't know. Right, we don't know. Actually, also literally because his name is showing up with nothing in the turn order. Yeah, but if you look on the chat, you see my role. He's in the chat, yeah. If you look on the chat, it's a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried being cool and mysterious. Apparently that's just fucked up. Oramic, go ahead. Roll 20, All right. like, nope. No, so fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna continue to attack the direwolf in front of me. Do it, so, Dwight. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it once <laughs> to see if it's. Well, I don't. This is my problem. It's because like to do Because if I attack twice, is it a waste of an attack if I overkill it from the first hit? Um, that sounds like a rule lawyer thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I get the story, like this the player side of it. Like, or the, like the rule side of it, like in the sense, like, I can understand where, like, technically you don't have to tell me I killed it on that first hit if I'm just, like, enraged and I hit it again. Right, because <laughs> technically you um, are enraged, so. Right, but does it a waste of an attack? 
I mean, technically, if you attack it, you make how many? I would say, like, and this is from my point of view, you yeah. are attacking it twice, and it, your secondary attack is called Reckless Assault, right? Nah, the second one, I have Reckless uh, Attack or whatever, but it basically, um, I can do that one as a, uh, where's that feature says? Like, there, okay, yeah, there's Reckless Attack, where I can attack with an advantage or whatever, but I also get advantage on attacks against me. Um, or, but my second attack is just called Extra Attack. Oh, okay. Okay, I found it. Yeah. Um, yep. According to the book, moving moving between attacks, if you take an action that includes more than one weapon attack, you can break up your movement even further. So basically what it's saying is you can attack two separate targets. The example given is, say you move 10 feet, hit one guy, then move 15 feet, and use your extra attack on another guy. Yeah. So okay. according to the book, you can hit two different people with okay. your extra attack if it's necessary. Okay. So, yeah. in the flow of time, I could technically attack once, like so. Hold on, let's roll. Yeah, you could attack once. I he doesn't see the him. results of this. Yeah, okay. Yep. That's what I mean. Boom, shot. Is going to barely hit it. Okay. So, that one is going to take 13 damage. Yes. Damn. Mm. I assume it's still standing. <laughs> You gotta give me more than just a couple of seconds, no, you're my friend. Oh, you're sorry. No, I didn't know if you were ready. Oh, all right. So uh, I'm gonna swing and uh, clearly just put my axe right in through its skull, and then pull it back out and quickly turn around and hit the dire wolf behind me. Okay, so roll to hit that dire wolf now. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's definitely gonna hit, and it's gonna deal that eight damage to him. All right, and then I am going to I'm do this. I'm going to take my 30-foot advantage. That's right here. 10, 30, okay. And, yeah. All right. Yeah. There's a purpose for that. I'll probably fuck it all up, but there's a purpose for that. I mean, you <laughs> normally fuck it all up when it comes to something important. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're murder hobo. Fair. <laughs> he tries to not be a murder hobo. He tries. Try. Why? Is he good? I thought Jared was the only one who was a good alignment. Um, Kevin, I believe, is neutral. My character? Yeah. My alignment is neutral. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's true neutral. In, in the other campaign, I'm uh, neutral evil. Yeah. No, I so in that one, he's like, I like to do whatever it takes to do what he wants. Yeah, I can kill somebody if I want to. <laughs> yeah. But with that, Ormic, you said your turn's over? Uh, yeah, that's all. All right, I got to remove that dire wolf off. So this winter wolf is going to reach down and have a bite of Xylena. Oh, God. So it doesn't matter of anything, but I'll say, like, you're wearing your armor. If you pass the AC, I'll say that it still doesn't hit you. And yeah, otherwise, he hits at a, at a failure. Correct. Normally. Yep. But as it goes down okay. to bite you, it finds something mm -hmm. sharp, and it actually is going to deal two damage to the Winter Wolf. Nat one? <laughs> that one. Must have been. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yeah. Failing to start to hurt. <laughs> All right, Fallon. Okay. I am. Do I have I'm going to. Cast magic missile level one at the one at this guy that's trying to eat that Lena. This guy right here. All right, go ahead and roll for damage. The alpha. Not as great as the last one. So that's nine damage. So as it gets hit, you see that it's fur starting to lose the cold aura off of it. It's 
turn to show marks and whips. Just cuts going down its arms. Okay, and then... Oh, it doesn't... Dang it. Okay, that's all I can do, because that's not a bonus action. Um, I'm gonna actually... What I'm gonna do is back the fuck up. Okay. Hoorah! All right, so with that, it is the mysterious archer that is hoorah. Is hoorah. Yeah, tell me, is it please play or fluffle? Please play or fluffle? I'm going to go fancy. I'm going to say flay flay. It's, it's flay flay. <laughs> oh, play play. Play play. play. I like play play the best play, for play, sure. Play, play. All right, so for the stream's sake, I will be centering it over here for a moment. The archer is going to pull back a arrow and fire it at the winter wolf. Jesus. Two. Holy shit! He's hit. got multi attack. Jesus Christ! All right, so he's at least level five. It's not higher. Yep. So as the two arrows are going to hit the Winter Wolf, he's going to take a total of 20 piercing damage. Uh, hold on one second. I want to make sure, because I, I literally made this guy in like five seconds. 28 plus 6 dex, he rolled a 1. And then 7 plus 6, he rolled, yeah, he rolled a 7 on the second one. Yeah, it checks out. Um, and that will end his turn. So with that, it is now Cubs. All right. I'm going to wait till the end of the battle, Adam, but I have some guesses as to what level this guy is. Why wait? Just say it. Is he level 20? No. No? No. He's not He's 7. level... 16. Close. Alright. So I'm looking at that proficiency bonus on the on the rolls he did, and I'm like, Jesus. What level's plus five? <laughs> Alright. That doesn't matter. It's just crazy. It's crazy high. <laughs> Alright, Cove. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> I want to attack this winter wolf with a firebolt. Boom. Okay, 23 is definitely going to hit, and a 16 is definitely going to singe him. Damn. And by right. singe, I mean like full on fucking murder. Yes. All right, perfect. Um, and then I want to one, two, three, four, five, six. But then I'm also going to take my bonus action of throwing two of my meteors. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw them right here. So there's five feet there, five feet there. So I get both of them. Damn. You're throwing two? Yeah. All right. And it's a 16. So I made one save, one fail for the winter wolf. Second, I gotta pull up the dire wolf screen. And two fails on the dire wolf. So, dire wolf did two fails, so it's gonna take eight. And the winter wolf passed the first, so it's gonna take two. No, it takes it takes five. It takes half damage. Oh, does it take half or does it take none? Half. I can show you. So it would be three. Yeah. No, it'd be five, right? No, cause from the first one. Oh, oh yeah, I thought I was saying total. No. It's taking five altogether, but 
All right. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, so you have two meteors left. And with that, this dire wolf is going to spend its turn becoming unprone. Yeah! Doesn't have any bonus actions or anything. So, Xylena, death save. You need to hit. What? What? Shit. So, so she is at save, one, one fail. save, two fails. Oh. Because Aramil Thunder waved her. Yep, thanks. Oh, fuck! Aramil! Hey, she did it to me first. It's it's she actually <laughs> killed us the first yeah, time. She, she pushed me off a She threw me off a cliff. We're better people All I did now, was okay? I her slightly further away from me. The Winter Wolf is going to bite out at triple A again, which now your AC is 21, right? Yep. Rolls a 24. Dealing 10, and you have to make another strength saving throw. Oh, you are now prone again. He fell over. I just can't get my balance today. <laughs> it's, it's losing your sword all over again. Yeah, right. It is. <laughs> that Winter Wolf just likes hitting you. Uh, but it will end its turn, and with that, Aramil. Okay, so I'm going to come running over this log and step past Eilina. But as I do, I'm going to turn around and cast Cure Wounds at second level. All right. Giving her 12 HP and voiding the fails. <laughs> Hopefully. Correct. She is still prone this for this next turn, but yeah. she can wake up. And as I do that, I also step up in front of uh, Fallon to face off against this dire wolf. With no bonus actions. How brave. Thanks, hey. Yep. Gonna get fucked. So, since he healed me, do I just, like, put the other two successes? Yes. Or... Go ahead. Okay. Because, yeah, you, you'll have plus 12 each, so you'll have 12 health. Yep. So you can take care of that. But you are prone, so your next turn you have to stand up. Understood. Making sure. Triple A, bud. Um, so I'm prone, right? Correct. So am I allowed to cast Cure Wounds while I'm like on the ground still on myself? Rule lawyer? Uh, cure wounds? Yes, yes, you can. Um, the only thing that you'll have, so I checked. You won't be able to get up. I checked yeah. prone earlier. You won't be able to get up this turn. You have to use your whole action to do that. But you can still move around if you want to crawl. Half speed. It's a half speed. <laughs> and okay. you can cast spells. The only thing that you have to worry about is you have disadvantage if you try to attack anybody from while you're prone. So Which is weird, because if you're on the ground, you're like, let me try to hold a sword at you. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a... Uh, it's like your options are, alright, stand and get hit again, or try to poke the wolf from the ground. How about a poke it? I'm gonna poke There's, it. Uh, nice cure wounds. And yeah, how, it's a wolf. And how far can I crawl? Uh, uh, three spaces. Yep. And then also keep in mind crawl. that... He crawled it. under Fallon's leg. Like, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. I'm just like, I just like, I just like, I'm just like, come on, hurry up. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I was thinking from the full Midwestern. Yeah, Oops, let's sneak past you there. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> all right. Are you all set, bro? Yep, that's it. All that's right, it, so it. this dire wolf <clears throat> is now facing off against Aramil. Face me. Face him. So he will bite you. Do it. And he will hit. So you please roll a strength saving throw. 
Wait, I have a dire? I thought that was just the wizard one. Dang it. Do you want me to show you? No, I believe you. I'm just... You are going to take eight piercing damage, but you are not knocked prone. All right. By the way, dire wolves are like just the huge ass wolves. Winter wolves are the spectral embodiment granted from Ariel. Okay. With so that, what I'm saying is I can't skin a winter wolf and make a sweet looking coat. No, they start to fade away after a little bit. Oh, so my coat would fade and I'd be naked. Sad. All right, dire wolf. So this winter wolf coming over here howls up at the moon, looks at you with its icy blue eyes, and breathes out a cold breath. Fallon and Triple ah. A. No, oh, sorry, Fallon you. and Aramel. You're fine, Triple A. Woo! Yeah, you're 20 feet. Look at that crawl. Hey. So you both must succeed in a dexterity saving throw. Oh! Boom! Nat 20. Nat 20, motherfucker! Should I be nice on her nat 20 and let her avoid all damage? That's my opinion. That's Please, because like I'm so oh. about to die. <laughs> Fine. So, Fallon, you are going oh. to avoid the cold air, dancing around it. I just, like, matrix. <laughs> you matrixed it. Aramel, you are taking oh, okay. nine damage. Half. All right. Wow. This is uh, not going well for me. If it's ever my turn again, Thank you. <laughs> I'll help you. Yeah, I'm getting a little low on help. The winter wolf comes up and strikes out at Cove. Uh Cove, don't forget that you have it five inspiration. Yeah, so is he, I mean, if he's just going to bite me, then I'm going to put you add it to my AC. Yeah. But if he's going to cast, like, what it, is it? Can you add it to your AC? Yep, that's the combat inspiration. I thought it was just against saving throws and stuff, but... Oh, it's, uh, yeah. It can use it reaction, its reaction to roll the die and add the number rolled to the AC against that attack. So since I already rolled the five... Okay. It's, but so what does that bring your AC that, to? He can do that after seeing the roll, but not but before knowing whether it hits or misses. So, yeah, He'll you know if say it, it hits or misses because it's against him. Yeah, exactly. So basically, yeah, you have to use it. You have to say you're going to use it now. Otherwise, you, yeah, you can't wait you until after you roll. Yeah, yeah. Use it now? Yeah, use it now. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. using it now. Okay. 24. Okay, well, yeah, so I'm dead. What? 14 right. damage. Wow. Alright, I'm on death saves. Cov is on death saves. Oh boy. Remember, Olivia, oh. you can crawl over and hit that wolf. <laughs> so now this winter wolf's gonna come over and attack Ura. 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 Blue, you're making a lot of noise. Just want you to know that. And it is going to deal 11 damage to Ura. Ura. Somehow I feel like he's okay. Ormic. Alright, so... Uh, I'm going to... Just imagine if we had more people. I know, right? Uh, run up to this winter wolf, and we're going to go ahead and take a swing. Wait for that damage to come through. Or that roll. There it is. Boom shot. Definitely going to hit. It's going to take that 15. Okay. 
you know, here's a question, and technically yeah. it works because I'm using my bonus action. Whatever. So my or not my my, my magic Extra action. Tell, if I if I teleport behind it and attack it, do I get advantage? Yes, I would think so. Right. You just disappeared, yeah. so it's confused as shit. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go right over here. Teleport, disappear. I mean, I'm pretty confident I would have hit it anyway. I'm just curious to see what this does. I mean, give yourself auto crit. Yeah. Yeah. That seems fair. Okay, hold on. Gotta turn it on. Force crit. Do it still roll with advantage and just click on it, right? Because it's automatically going to be a critical. Yeah. I have no idea. It... Let's see. I just click on it. Doubles. I mean, so what I'm gonna, it's, yeah, so we'll do the, plus the rage, you are dealing 22 that turn. Uh, okay. hold on, yeah, because that's plus crit, plus crit, yeah. Ten plus crit, yeah. So wait, 22 wait. or 32? 34. 30, I mean. Let's, let's say that it does 24, and then let's say it does 48, fuck it. He said 48. Fuck it. Yeah. I won't argue with that. I'm just, I'm I just mean, looking well, like, wait, how does this work? <laughs> okay, that's what I was if it, I said, I was assuming it was going to kill it, but if not, I also have the ability that anytime I roll a crit, I can reroll another damage die. <laughs> but I'm not just going <laughs> to. Well, yeah, no, you take definitely did kill it, so you have to describe its demise. All right. So, um, actually, if, okay, with a little bit of an edit, I was going to say, I swing in front of it, I, uh, strike into uh like his neck and then i teleport like above it and come down like slashing and like completely decapitating it gotcha so i'm if you're okay with it i'll make my edit so i'm staying right now. <laughs> no that's perfectly fine okay so with that it is now that guy is dead it's fallon's turn she gets a turn again thank god okay you're welcome. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast darkness right here. It's a 15 foot orb. So it should encompass all three of these wolves right here. So mm -hmm. they are now blind. Correct. And that's, that's my action. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna make them all just in darkness, like pure pitch black darkness, so none of them can see anything. Okay. Are you gonna move or? Um, I will. No, I'm not gonna move. Which? Okay. Way? Yeah, if I cast it, if I cast it right here, it okay. encompasses all three of them without hitting us. Okay. All right. Sorry, I just I measured it out. Dog <laughs> just jump off the couch and it was loud as shit. <laughs> all right. So with that, it is Ura's turn. Ura. Ura. Actually, I do not want that showing here, but I guess I have no choice. So everyone watching the stream, you can actually see how much health Ura has. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, so I'm not watching. Playing to the character, Ura is actually going to tackle the Winter Wolf, and then. He is going to activate his ability to, where is it? So he is going to tackle him and use a thorough step. So let's bring that up so I can actually know what that is. Who muted their mic? It got really quiet all of a sudden. Right. Oh, yeah, Derek did. Okay. 
Actually, as a matter of fact, his like oh there it goes. I say his whole camera froze for a second. Dog. Dog. All right. But with that, he is actually going to disappear. Both him and the Winter Wolf seem to just fade out of existence for the moment. And with that, it is Coventrader's turn. So one fail. <laughs> Brian's not even talking anymore. He's just like, mm, nope. Right, I'm sulking. I'm sulking for sure. <laughs> He's pouting, guys. <laughs> it's okay. You can ask Libby. She's been on death saves for like a year. No, she's out of it. I know, but yeah. I'm saying like uh, normally. Right. All right. So with Cov's first failure, it is going to go to this dire wolf, who is going to spend his turn. Fucking dick. Fucking what? Fucking <laughs> He's going to lick his crotch. He's going to just walk out of the darkness and kind of look around. But that will be everything. Zelina. I'm going to get up. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the only thing I can do. I my action to stand up. All right. Winter Wolf is going to come over here and strike at Arabelle. Oh, boy. God damn it. <laughs> How do you know? Call it a hunch? Call it a hunch? <laughs> yeah, I hear the echo. Um, oh. Roll your strength save. There's no point. You're, yeah, you're taking 22 damage. Yeah, here's my strength save, but uh, that doesn't matter. Um, yep, I'm on death saves. Okay. So with that, let's see. We have one, two players currently on death saves. Right? Or are there more? Did I miscount you guys? You're right. Let's see. One, two. Oh yeah, your your icons overlapping with one of the winter wolves. That's why I didn't see you. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Way to fuck it up. All right. So, uh -huh. Aramil, you get your first death save. Hooray! All right. Um, one sec. I'm going to turn down my output just to see if that fixes the uh, echo. I'm not hearing it as much right now. Yeah, you're good now. It was just, I think you were having, or there was some uh, connectivity issues, so you like. Get gotcha. A little bit. All right, death save, go! Death save Bam. fail. Thanks. Hey, maybe I'll maybe I'll still end up dying after all. <laughs> all right, triple A, bro. And Sorry, I'm just standing up, making it an easy one. Thanks. That actually does it, it does make it a little bit easier on me. I don't have to move anything around. Yeah, I appreciate okay. it. All right. So then with that, this dire wolf is going to come in here and strike at AAA. Jeez, I'm right in the middle. <laughs> well, yeah, but Airmail's dead. So. Right? Hey, I'm just bleeding out. It's different. Make a strength save. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm actually rolling really well. Jeez. Okay, you nice. are not knocked. You are not knocked prone, and you will only take five piercing damage. Right. That is I what a nat twenty gets you on that one for you. 
Woo. You're like, thank God. <laughs> Seriously. I feel like if I ever write D&D character or D&D monsters, I'm going to put like results of nat 20s and nat 1s all over the place in all the like <laughs> abilities. I'm going to let people get weird with it. <laughs> They're going to get so weird. That's just, I was going to say, if I roll a nat 20 in a strength save, I want to actually flip the wolf over. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I make him go from. I will grab that <laughs> since, fire. Since it's fair that the wolf would still technically, like, you know, have some control, I want to see, like, AAA just, like, hold its mouth open and be stuck there. Just, like, in a, in a grab. Oh, I guess you say it. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, as this winter wolf goes to make an attack, you actually see it fall to the ground with a knife in its back. Ooh. Ura? Ura. Ura. Oramic. All right. Well, we already know what we're doing with this uh, dire wolf right here. Because, you know, it's my main attack. It's like right there. It's yeah. like his thing. Do the thing. Well, yeah, the, the, thing, the, thing. The, the thing hit, and uh, the, the thing felt it. Yeah, all right. And then, uh... Hold on. Oh, okay. Two seconds. Oh, snap. Okay. Um, Jeebus. So, I'm gonna... You said it just moved out and was looking around. So, as it was looking around, I run up and plunge the axe into its ribcage on the side. And, uh, yeah, as I go to pull it out, it just, uh, falls over with this ribcage split open. And then we're going to go ahead and teleport. You know, we're just going to go right in for the winter wolf, right? Well, I'm trying to think. 30 feet. Uh, 10. Sweet. Um, we're going after the other dire wolf. So I'm going to do that. Can I do the same thing on the crit? On the... Sure. Okay. You tell me. All right. So... I'll admit I was only half listening. You're good. <laughs> Damn. All right. So yeah, even though it says yeah, one d twelve, one d twelve plus five. So yeah, technically, it would just be these rolls all added together. Yeah. So yeah, thirteen, fifteen, twenty. But twenty damage. What? Damn. <laughs> yeah. And I could still technically add more. If but I, I didn't know if that was a I mean I think that's I think that's reserved for legitimate critical attacks, but I don't know, still it's no, up that's, to a add. Good point. that's a good point, technically, yes. Not a Holy legit. shit, I feel like our chat is me just saying, Hey, describe its death. I know, right? <laughs> I said fuck the Yeti earlier in the chat. You did. You did, uh -huh. and then you know. I think that's whose friend is Fletch Daddy. Oh, that's my friend. Yeah, I appreciate him watching. He should talk in the chat. <laughs> yes. Uh, with that though, uh, you good, Biggs? Yeah, that is that is my turn. Fallon. A fury comes over me. As Aramel lay dead on the ground. Dying. And uh, I cast Max Missile. Well, dying on the ground next to me. I cast Magic Missile at second level on the asshole in front of me. The and all of them are going world. to him. Yes. All right. So you are going to be dealing four damage? Times oh, four times four. Yeah, no, I was making sure it was the actual right roll. I did. I had to scroll through to make sure. Yeah, no. Yes. Yeah, four times four. All right. So with that, all of a sudden you see a shimmering, like just the area around this. Pe oh, can you not see where I'm paying on that? Goddamn. Right here, where I ping, the air starts to shimmer, and out walks Ura. Ura. 
when he is going to run up and passing the winter wolf grab his dagger and he is going to strike well it was a broad short sword so he's going to attack the wolf with his short sword Jesus oh yeah oh yeah so that's a hit <laughs> yeah I'm just double checking I just want to know what level I have to be to start rolling things like that. I think he's 15. I'm 15. Okay. All yes, right. nailed it. Uh, so on top of taking this, because he is a planar warrior, as a bonus action, he chose this winter wolf. So he will take the winter wolf will take 4d8 additional damage. Okay. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay. So My that's... 16 damage was nothing compared to this. So that is, right. let's see, 24 and then 48. Plus 11. That. So yeah, he just dealt 35 59. damage. Oh, wait. Math, 11 plus 13, 24 plus oh, yeah. 11 more, 35. I heard you say 48 and I was like, oh, okay. 4 D eight. <laughs> like, yeah. I like this. I'm not mad about it, but oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm all for this one. But with that, Cove, when you are done pouting, please roll. You you succeeded. <laughs> oh, I'll do that. I did. Yes. You know, Biggs. If we can't, we should have a macro for death saves. <laughs> Oh, yeah. In the chat. Yeah, the like everyone yep. pray. <laughs> uh, that dire wolf is dead. Xylena, you actually have a turn. Yay! I can actually do something! I mean, let's not go that far. Okay, I'll say your flame at the wolfie. At the wolfie. Alright. So, wolfie. it is a dexterity saving throw, right? Yes, sir. It fails miserably. Fuck my giant dick. As you're casting a spell used, like, that you have to use a god's power for, you literally say, suck my fat juicy dick. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, right. be god, what do you want? I mean, your, you god, your goddess is the goddess of carnal desires, so I guess that kind of makes sense in a weird roundabout way. Why do you think I pick these things? <laughs> so the winter wolf just getting stabbed in the back by those two swords. Even though he got hit by your radiant damage Liv, he's still really pissed off about those swords in his back. It, he, <laughs> are you okay with that? Are you offended? Nah. I'm offended. He is going to attack at Ura. He is going to do 18 damage to Ura. Ura. And Ura has to make it strength save. Ura. Ura. And he Jeez. failed. So miserably, he is knocked prone and back 10 feet. Aramil. Death save. Death save. Success. Success. Woo! Triple A. Come on, end it. I am. I'm going to go around here and flash with my click. Now Long what? Because I'm finally standing up. And look at that. <laughs> and here comes the damage. And of course, it's one handed. Yes. Uh, but that doesn't matter because. Oh, it doesn't? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, but I straight up run over here and I, I just chopped that clean off. There you go. I say, if not, I was going to lay into it because I was. Yeah. All right. Now let's go find a save point. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, beyond that, everyone, you now are off of death saves. Oh, and. Everyone died. No one died. 
Almost. I uh, oh. I bend down and I like lightly pat Aramel on the cheek to wake him up. <laughs> oh, hello. Like which which hey, set of cheeks? Yo, you okay? <laughs> uh, his face cheeks. <laughs> I mean, we don't know if he made your cheeks clap earlier in the night, and then... His face cheeks. I tap his face cheeks, and I go, hey, you okay? I guess. We almost lost you there. No. I was just napping. This is a pretty horrible time to nap. When the moment strikes you. And I, I grab his arm and I help him up. Thank you. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make a fur coat. <laughs> As you look, all the large winter wolves have faded into the snow. But that doesn't matter, because I go straight to this one. Uh, sleight of hand. All right. Ooh. That's it up. Boom. You successfully skin it. Yeah! I'm gonna Google how much... Uh, actually, I'm just gonna ask the DM. How many fur coats can I make out of that? I was thinking two. From a dire wolf? Yeah, it's a big beast. I mean, are you doing like a full-length fur coat? Uh, just top, just upper body. Mm, you could probably make two. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to drag this pelt off into this tent here and just start to work, get to work on that. <laughs> He's just going to go off and go fuck himself. <laughs> right? All right. It's a good thing there's no such thing as tailoring to actually make yeah. the coat. And the nope, armor it's gonna be very rough. And the coat will have no armor purpose outside of saying you have a new coat. Mm. Fair, fair. But I will look damn good in fur. <laughs> <laughs> you look damn good in fur. Alright. Yeah. So that guy was skinned. So all that was left is bones. And meat. Um, As you cut gonna, into him, though, I'm you notice there's not a lot one. of good meat on the bones anymore. Oh, yeah, because I was hungry. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Dang. Well, doesn't matter. Uh I'm gonna walk over to this dire wolf and pull a couple of his fangs out. Nice. All right. I'm gonna walk up to Ural. Say, yo, that yeah, was that was clutch as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this hundred what year old motherfucker walks up to yeah, <laughs> this guy so who like just, just came out of nowhere yo, and goes, "That was clutch." Two hundred year old. <laughs> Just oh, like yeah, imagine that shit. was clutches. This but this straight up looked like, like when a when an older man walks up to like a teenager and is just like, "What's up, fam?" Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can't wait for that concert. I'm so excited. Are you going? They postponed it until next September. I know. Rachel and I got tickets like a long time ago. Then so we're still going. I'm literally so excited. Kyle and I will be there. I will be whoa, yeah, in it. Shall we? <laughs> All right. So as you approach Ura, he starts to look you over inquisitively, but doesn't say a word. Even after I ask him, or, oh, okay, so he just doesn't say anything. Uh, I just ask him, who are you? He looks at you and just tilts his head to the right. All right. So then I'm just going to slowly go back to my tent. He's like, all right, you can go fuck yourself then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so wait. Have... He, maybe he only speaks Elvin. He probably only speaks Elvin. All right. I hand Fallon the other fur coat. Aww. And then Aww. I wander off to speak to Ura. See, Fallon, you have a bonus of being the booty call. <laughs> I get new fur coat. Does this help me stay warm? That was the goal with the fur, with the whole thing with the fur coat. Can I, can I, layer, my I, fur, can I layer my fur coat on top of my leather coat? 
Which is on top of my cardboard crocheted cardigan. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, then I'm going to... Oh, that's the wrong... That's the wrong I, computer. I'm going to go into this tent and fucking... Please. That's it. I say that's what I just said. I walked up to it. Your tent. girl is about to fucking drop. Well, if we're so doing shifts, do if we're doing shifts, I'll stay awake for a little while, but I still need some sleep. Aramel, as you approach, he notices that you're an elf just like him, so he almost welcomes your approach. And I, uh, I go to, um, I don't want to say shake his hand, but essentially I go to give him a greeting. And I just say, uh, in Elven, because, as, but hesitantly, like, I don't want to assume that he only knows Elven, but it's like, thanks for the help? He nods his head. Okay. Um, can I ask what you're doing out here? As you say that, he takes his hand, pulls the cover off of his mouth, and opens his mouth to reveal his tongue was frozen, solid, going all the way down, freezing his vocal cords. What a poor bloke. Ah, understood. Um... He pulls we'll the operate back up. yes or no answers then. Did you show Wait, up you just to help us? Something? You guys can't talk at the same time and expect me to actually understand this. So since I'm I'm gonna operate in yes or no answers, so did you show up just to help us? He shook his head no. Were you hunting the wolves? No. Is this a coincidence? He just shrugs his shoulder like, possibly. (laughs) Okay. Would you like to join us by our fire? He just looks at you, shakes his head no. Okay. We appreciate the help, and then I hand him a little bit of, like, what was left of the wolf. It's kind of like a little, like, Ask him thing. to stay. Ask him if he wants to stay by the fire with us. I tonight. did. He said no. Like, oh. Yeah. He said no. Well, he he shook no. Nope. Right. Clearly not paying attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's got cake. I heard like three. I heard She's like. She's still three. imagining looking at I herself in like a reflection in a fur coat, just like mm, <laughs> I look good in my own head. I'm just like, like Kyle, get with it. I'm just like. So, um, I hand him the last bit of the fur, like, that I kind of made, like, a scarf-looking thing. It's essentially the tail, but I made it into, like, a little scarf, and I was like, will you accept this gift? He looks at you, puts his hand on your arm, and then starts to walk away into the snow. But only a few feet later, he shimmers away and disappears. Did he take the gift? He did not. (sighs) He literally just evaporated, right? Is that what you're concerned with? <laughs> yeah, but I still want to give him, like, a little gift to thank you for saving us from certain, all but certain death. Just give him a right. thank you, blow. It's all good. Well, here's the thank you for you guys. Oh. Level up. Level up. Everybody gets a level up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and a long rest with it. Of course, it's a full heal. Yeah, please. <laughs> Everybody, but Cove for making that. Yeah. Right. Go, go to the bonfire. It's a save point. You'll be full healed. Oh, this is uh, Dark Souls mentality. Got it. Yeah, yeah right. This is what stays. Yes. Which, speaking hey, of Dark Souls, six. actually on Friday, Biggs and I are going to be streaming a playthrough of D and D's Dark Alliance. Yeah on the xbox one uh we might have my brother i'm not sure but we'll see so if you guys want to we can keep the stream going you guys can talk about your different level ups and i yeah i say keep going all right i just go from i need to roll a d6 for my new hp yeah well then roll it 
Roll it. I, I'm really curious oh, to see what crap this is going to be. Ooh. Woo! I got an extra attack. I got a six. Aramil, are you actually leveling up to level five in Bard? Yeah. Yeah, I am this time. Look at you. And I... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I forgot that I was only level four, so I went to level six. And I thought I got an extra attack, but then you reminded me. And I was like, oh, right. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Back, back to level five. It is. Help, y'all. D twelve. D twelve. Right, add spells. I get one Take more spell. There's a spell called Tiny Hut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a small little safe zone, so you can actually rest. Oh. Who is Escobert the Red? That's a made-up character for... Uh, well, not made-up. Uh, it's one of the characters is for the Is he the one Rhyme that had to Frost fight King. off the dragon because everyone else is... Yeah, because everyone else is a coward or evil or just not good. Pussies. So, he had to fight the dragon all by himself. Oh, I know Shaggy. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> one who helped Two of them were frozen to the ground with fear. Yeah. Everyone else is trying to escape into the tunnel, and then for like a quarter of a second, Norwin pops up on the roof, shoots one arrow at it. It's like, well, I tried. See ya. And they just so, ran back downstairs. I was like, so my, are you yeah. guys kidding me right now? <laughs> my first action, I was like, I want to move the barrel. And then I was like, okay, then that second one, like, if I would have actually armed it, my goal was to run outside, like, attack its legs, and then run back inside. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. It was, it was frozen. Thing she did. I was um, not wow. sure if we were about to get our shit wrecked by that dragon, I mean, and I did not I want my character to die the very I'll first time. First session, <laughs> assume that I'm not going to kill you that easily. Right, well, that's what I say. It's a little intimidating when you pull out a dragon. You know it's, what I mean? Like, part of the, it's part of the encounter. You're supposed no, to try to fight I, that's, the dragon. That's I, I was talking with Adam about it, and that's what I was saying. Like, I was, He's like, well, yeah, he's like, you only had a damage of 25, and so, it, like, or whatever, and then, because uh, you told us after, and, like, I said, yeah, but the thing is, is like, I don't know. It, I said, I didn't. A, I didn't know that. I'm gonna assume it has like 200 health. I said, oh, so there's no way my little oh, like does. four, my little fours are gonna like, you know what I mean? Are gonna really impact it. It's really simple. So it's like the dragon is only there, not really of its own free will, but sort of like as a hey, help us out simple. thing so for the like, cult. The dragon so the cult there, accepts really that like, will, so the cult sort of like wants it to keep hey. fighting, but once it gets hurt a little bit, it's like this isn't my problem, and it just leaves. Right. So I was like, all right, so you guys, uh, I didn't want to tell you guys, I can't tell you, oh, hey, just hurt it a little. But at the same time, I'm like, but come fight the dragon. Fight the dragon. Do it. Now, granted, I, I, you probably felt a little bit more confident if we hadn't been down two people, but still. Sorry. For real, though, I got a good spell that's super useful. That and poor Nick, uh, poor Nick's character was literally uh, hiding in a corner. He crit failed against the uh, Frightful Presence, so he was like, Crying in a in a room in the in the castle somewhere, trying to avoid getting hurt. <laughs> if he had succeeded on one wisdom save, it, he probably would have fought the thing by himself. Because um, just knowing Nick, but instead, I'm sure he got screwed. <laughs> Wait, so there's tiny so, hut, and then there's Leoman's tiny hut. I know Leoman's tiny hut. They're like the same. I was just reading that. They're like basically the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but they somebody, are the same thing. But Leoman owns the other tiny hut. He made that spell. I got um, mass cure wounds. Oh, look at that! I'm looking for something like that. Are you gonna actually be a healer though, Livy? Right. I might. I might be nice. Who knows? I mean, so I'm, I'm I, not that nice in the other campaign where I'm the cleric. I'd just be like, these dumbasses didn't listen to me. Don't. Right. So I'm, <laughs> well, I'm I have... know that in like a case scenario where a bunch of people are about to die, it can maybe be kind of sort of. Right. As I said, I have a party benefit. Uh, I benefit one or whatever that I just got bolstering magic. So uh, three times oh, per long rest, I can uh, touch one creature. Um, or myself, or whatever, and confer one of the following benefits. And for 10 minutes, I can either, you can roll a D3 whenever making an attack roll or an ability check and add the number to your roll, or 
you can uh, I can just roll a d3 and you regain uh, one expended spell slot in the level whatever level I roll, or you know, level is whatever I roll. So everyone heard that right? Kevin's gonna go touch himself and then get yeah. some benefits to that. <laughs> Well, I don't have spells, so in other words, if you're like expending, if I notice like, hey, you're expending like a bunch of high level spells, like I could hopefully roll a d3 and uh, give one back to you, or I can give you that d3 uh, roll advantage to your attack or ability checks. Okay. All right. But I have. So I don't get any heals. All right. With that, I'm actually going to yeah. sign us off for the night, guys. Uh, so come join us Friday. We're probably going to be yeah. starting up 8.30 like we normally do on our stream uh, because the two of us are parents and we got to put kids to sleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, feel free to join in next Tuesday for another episode of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden just to get us back on schedule. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. See you next week. Yeah. Bye.